Okay, so I'm making this video because I think there comes a time where people have to learn to trust the Word of God. It's time to decide if you're going to believe God or if you're going to believe man. The Bible says that God cannot lie. The Bible says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That is speaking of Jesus Christ is the only source of truth. Jesus Christ is the author of the Bible. The Bible also says, Whoa, who did you hear that? Thunder. Woe unto man who puts his trust in man. So I'm making this because I've been seeing some comments that are disparaging people who have learned the truth about creation. Even so much as to try to say that those of us who know the truth about how the earth is created are under a curse or are trying to steal the glory from God. That's what I heard, I saw, I read today, which was the most ridiculous thing. I'm going to read to you what the Word of God says about the earth. And are you going to believe what God says, or are you going to believe the lies? Because what you have to understand is everything that the world teaches about how the world is, is a lie. The Bible is very clear about creation. So I'm going to read these scriptures and allow the Word of God to speak for itself. I'm not going to add any commentary. I'm just going to allow the Word of God to speak for itself. This is a Bible study I put together for my five-year-old son when the education system and people were trying to indoctrinate him into the lies of the world. I no longer have him enrolled in school, and I teach him at home the Word of God. So this is the Bible study I put together for my five-year-old, and I'm going to read it now. Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis 1.6, and God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. Genesis 1.7, and God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Genesis 1.8, and God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. Genesis 1.9 And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. Genesis 1.10 And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas, and God saw that it was good. Genesis 1.14 and God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Genesis 1.15 And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Genesis 1.16 And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. Genesis 1.17 And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Genesis 1.18 And to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. Genesis 2.6 And there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. Deuteronomy 28 23. And thy heaven is over thy head, they had, shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. Joshua 2.11. And as soon as we heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you, for the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. 1 Samuel 2.8. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill, to set them among princes, to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he hath set the world upon them. First Chronicles 16.30 Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable that it, not, that it be not moved. Job 9.6 Which shaketh the earth out of her place, and the pillars thereof tremble. Psalm 19.1 The heavens declare the glory of God, 
and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Psalm 19, 2. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Psalm 19, 4. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he hath set a tabernacle for the sun. Verse 5. Which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. Verse 6, his going forth is from the end of the heaven, and is circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Psalm thirty-three, fourteen, From the place of his habitation he looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. Psalm 75, 3, The earth and all of the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it. Selah. Psalm 94, 1, The Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. Psalm 96.10 Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Psalm 104.5 Who laid the foundations of the earth, that it should not be removed forever. Proverbs 25, 3. Listen to this, is very important. The heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of kings is unsearchable. I'm going to repeat that. Proverbs 25, 3. The heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Mankind, this is my only commentary, does not know the height of heaven or the depth of earth or the heart of other people. Isaiah 13, 13. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. I'm going to read that one again too. Isaiah 13, 13. This is the day of the Lord. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. Isaiah 40, 22. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Isaiah forty four twenty four, Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed these from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. Isaiah 48, 13. Mine hand also hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spanned the heavens. When I called unto them, they stand up together. Isaiah 66, 1. Thus saith the Lord, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? This is the word of the Lord. This is what God says about the earth. Do you want to believe God or do you want to believe man? Do you put your trust in science falsely so-called? That's what Tim Paul wrote in Timothy. Or do you put your trust in the word of God? It is time to come out of Babylon, people. Come out of Egypt. God says, come out from among them, lest ye be partakers of her plagues. Woe unto them that put their trust in man. Are you going to trust the scientists of the world? Because the Bible says the wisdom of the world is foolishness to God. Are you going to argue with other believers who believe the word of God when the word of God is very clear about the creation of the earth? And are you going to use the false science of man to try to prove that God is a liar? Or are you going to humble yourself and realize that what you know is a lie and that the word of God is true?